Hello guys, my recent hobby is to find open source projects and dissect their code on YouTube and on Twitter to find some gems, some quick tips, some non-standard ways or standard ways to structure the project. And topic of today and a few upcoming videos is this project that was announced pretty recently on Twitter, Vito Deploy Vito, which is at vitodeploy.com. It's a free server management tool. I will link the homepage in the description below. You can watch the demo and read more about that. But the main thing is that it's open source Laravel project. And one of the best ways to learn Laravel or any language or any framework is to analyze the existing code, especially if it's a code for a live working project. So I've browsed through that repository and picked some gems and topic of today is enums. So I've cloned that repository locally and in my PHP storm while browsing around, the first thing that struck out to me was the number of enum classes. So app enums has this many files. So it seems like enum logic is throughout all of that project. And let's see how it works and why. So the whole project Vito is about managing servers, sites, deployments, what is there else queues and databases and stuff like that also cron jobs i see and most of those things have two fields or columns let's put it type and status here on the screen you can see the enum for server status servers can be ready installing installation failed or disconnected another example could be cron job status creating ready or deleting also let's open some enum for a type server type regular or database server and all of those things could be kind of classified as separate database tables. So there could be server status ID field and server statuses database table. Similarly, cron job statuses, server types, and more database tables. But in this case, the author of the project decided to have those statuses as strings in the database table. For example, server status is a string field. So if you go to migration of create servers, this is a status and all the potential values of that string are in the enum classes. So basically all the app enums folder is a huge structure for all the classification of all the records. In this way, we have fewer database tables and also those enums contain all the possible values. So if you need any more value, you can add that as constant in enum. You don't need to change anything in the database and you can immediately use it. Of course, it's a personal preference. Some people prefer that in the database as I do myself in most cases. But in this case, the author took it to another extreme and relied on enums. And also kind of a side note, it's not PHP enums, it's enums from a package that used to be very popular before enums became native PHP function in PHP 8.1. Before that time, this package by Ben Sampo Laravel Enum was hugely popular. It has 2000 GitHub stars. And I'm not sure whether the author just wants to be able to run that project on lower than PHP 8.1 or he started that project before PHP 8.1 became a standard. That package still works, but probably for newer projects, I would advise to just use PHP enums without any package. Anyway, server status. If we go find usages in all the project, we see quite a lot of them. So this is a function in the model of server. Then we have in the factories definition of ready status. If we want to create a server, then a few usages in Blade. So it uses Livewire and we'll talk about that in upcoming videos about Livewire in this project. So we have server statuses here that actually I think could be optimized into one sentence instead of four. Maybe I need a separate video on that. Also there's partials status, also if statement. So yeah, that's totally optimizable. And also in the feature test, create custom server creates a server with installing status. So what is my point here? Those enum values, the constants are used all over the code and that's what makes them powerful. If we don't have any enums, then one of the options would be to have status ID with relationship to statuses, as I mentioned, but then it would be status ID, for example, something like one or two, which is not clear. What is that number? Or if we have strings, another option, if we have just installing 
here, for example, we don't have any validation that someone wouldn't have this, for example, typo or something like that. Enums introduce a structure with validation rules in itself, so you wouldn't be able to have another value. And also, if you need to change some string in multiple places, you would leave those multiple places as they are and would change the value only in one place in the enum, which is basically a principle of don't repeat yourself. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the example of if you have quite a lot of such classification values in your projects, enums may be additional layer of structure on top of string values in your database. What do you think? Have you used enums extensively like this project did? or you're planning to do that in the future, or maybe you disagree with that approach of enums and why? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.